Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about this Fluke 179 multimeter with a backlight that I've been using for the last few years. In this video, I'll go through my experience using this tool and share some overall thoughts. So, let's dive right in. This multimeter has been my go-to for various electrical and electronic projects. First off, it's got a robust design and feels pretty durable. It feels solid, not like it's going to fall apart if it takes a little knock. It came with a manual and automatic ranging which can be super helpful. The manual ranging is nice for when I know the ballpark of what I'm measuring. On the other hand, the automatic ranging is great for quick measurements where I don't want to fiddle with settings. Display hold and auto hold are other neat features. When I'm measuring something and can't look at the screen, the display hold keeps the last reading. The auto hold is even better. It captures stable readings without needing to press the hold button. Makes life a bit easier especially when working alone. The min-max average recording is something I've used occasionally. It records the minimum, maximum, and average readings over a period, which can be useful for spotting fluctuations or trends. The voltage measurements go up to 1,000 volts for both AC and DC, and the current measurements go up to 10 amperes for both AC and DC as well. And let's not forget the resistance measurements, up to 50 megaohms. Also, it can measure capacitance up to 10,000 microfarads and frequency up to 100 kilohertz. Pretty much covers the needs for most of my projects. One feature that's sort of a bonus but has come in handy is the built-in thermometer. It can measure temperature from minus 40 to 400 degrees Celsius. So, for certain tasks where I need to measure temperature, it saves me from carrying an extra tool. The digital display is backlit which is super helpful in low light conditions. There's also an analog bar graph at the bottom, which can be nice for observing how a measurement is fluctuating in real time. I've tested this tool in various settings and have found it to be pretty accurate, fast in giving readings, and reliable. When you're dealing with electricity, you don't want to take risks, and this tool has given me a sense of safety with its 600 volts for CAT EV and 1000 volts for CAT 3 input protection rating. So when I'm holding this tool, I feel secure knowing it's built to handle serious voltage. Now, onto my overall thoughts. I've found this multimeter to be a solid, versatile tool that covers a broad range of tasks, whether it's simple voltage measurements or more complex tasks like measuring frequency, it's been up to the job.